Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy Thursday morning to you. Here we are, flying through another week. Beautiful day here in Swansea. Suns are shining, wall to wall, blue skies. Just a beautiful day. So we're on a Thursday, we're on a mindset Thursday on your four keys to a healthier, happier you. And the thing we know today, we know we need to sleep at night. We know sleep helps so many areas in our life. It helps our body, helps our mind, helps all areas, and it's so important part. And we know we need to be having eight hours sleep every night. A lot of people don't realise quite what our bodies get up to while we're sleeping. Well, we think we're just resting and we're not doing anything. Our whole body is doing a whole new system of work and has different phases as it goes through the night. The first stage, first stage it goes into is the non-REM or the no, <coughs> or the non-rapid eye movement stage. This means the whole body is being worked on, not the brain. The brain is then totally at rest. The brain actual, the blood actually flows away from the brain into the rest of the body, so it has more chance to take the blood to the other areas, other organs. And obviously, the blood's carrying oxygen. Oxygen then develops new cells for all our bodies, so it actually works on the muscles, the bodies. Uh, 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 organs through all our muscles every other part of our body all our bones and everything so the first stage is non-REM so that's what the body's being worked on or the brain is totally at rest then the next phase that goes into then is the REM or the rapid eye movement stage where the blood then flows back to the brain and more blood actually flows into the brain what this does then, this is actually cleaning the brain, as weird as it sounds, but the brain actually cleans itself every night, because every day throughout the day, we have a buildup of called amyloid plaque. This builds up through the body, and especially in the brain. What happens over night time, the brain then, the, the, the brain itself, cleans this amyloid plaque away. Well, if it can't clean the plaque away properly, because you're not getting a good eight hours sleep, this amyloid plaque builds up and leads to Alzheimer's down the road said 20 30 year period of time that's how alzheimer's builds up it doesn't come suddenly on it comes over a 20 or 30 year period of a slow build up of amyloid plaque and what it is this amyloid plaque builds up between the connections and your neurons in your brain so you're slowly losing that connectivity because it's sticky amyloid plaque and coats the neurons, then they, they lose connections. And that's how you lose your, lose your connections. That's how you lose your memories. And that's where it gets worse. So it's, so it's so important at night time to get this eight hours sleep to allow the brain time to clean itself, get this amyloid plaque cleared away. Not only is this actual brain cleaning itself every night, it's then processing everything we've been through that day. So it's taking out all the things we've seen that day, all the things we've heard that day, all the things we've tasted that day, all the things we've smelled that day, and all the things, what's the other one? Hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, all things we've touched that day. So it's the five senses. It then has to process the whole day's information it's received, the brains and processing, sorting out into things that are important, things that aren't important, things that need to be stored in long-term memory, things that we can discard it, things that um, strengthen past memories. There's another belief that's actually strong again, does it? So there's so many different areas our brain is working on every night. And that's why eight hours sleep is so important to our brain and our body. So it needs that to do all the work it's doing. We think we're just sleeping and resting, but the whole body is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the nighttime is when it does most of its best work because we're at rest, our body's still, but it's doing all this process to actually achieve everything it needs to achieve to keep our bodies working and functioning so well. And unfortunately at the moment, with what's going on in the, in the craziness with all the coronavirus and everything else, we're getting so much negative stuff put into our brains every day. We're just storing more and more negative in there. So our mindset is getting more and more negative. It's negative on the best time because the natural press process, people, the press sells papers by drama. If they get negative, people are drawn to negatives. They read the papers. So the more negative they can make it, the more people read it. That's why every day you have death tolls being announced on a daily message. They're not giving you survival rates, people that are surviving or things that are going well. They're giving you death tolls. I mean, you couldn't get any more negative if you tried. Just how many people have died today? Oh, there's more people died today. So they're permanently given negative and we're permanently put negative in our mindset. So our mindset is getting more and more negative. So the only way to change it is to actually decide to actually put some positive in there. So actually start listening to some positive audio books, have some YouTube trainings, read some positive books, get some fresh air and just try and control your own thought process. So instead of just listening to all the negative, you put some positive in there ourselves to combat it all. Because otherwise it just keeps going down the negative straight and it gets worse and worse. So it's only us that can change our mindset by what we're putting in there, what we're listening to, what we're reading, what we're hearing. Once we start to put more positive in there, our mindset changes. And the last thing we're thinking of at night time is often what the brain is working on during the night. So if the last thing we've seen is the news telling about all the deaths and all the things that were going wrong in the world, our brain is storing this as, as a fact because our subconscious doesn't know the difference between fact and fiction. It just stores whatever we tell it. So if we're giving it a load of negative stuff, we actually believe that all the negative is true, no matter how 
depressed situation is, and that's making a negative more effect on the whole brain. So unless we start putting some more positive in there, it's going to get more negative. So it's only up to us to can actually change it. And he said those eight hours of sleep are vital to get the brain working properly, your body working right. And if you have just gratitude when we go to bed, just think of the positive things we have just before you go to sleep. Literally just be thankful for the kids, perhaps, perhaps for the family, for your health. If you've got a roof over your head, you can still walk. You have got work you can do. There's so many things we can be grateful for. And if we're making that our last thought before we go to sleep, We'll get a better night's sleep and our brain will start to store that as our positive memory, not all the negative we've had during the day. So it's getting us to control our mindset. That's my little thought today on Mindset Thursday. Have yourself a good day today in this crazy world. Take it steady.